Because Freedan's like, no, I'm not gonna do that thing. Just, you know, run right into a wall. No. We out. Where would you like to get that? I want to go to Itori Village. How am I not? Oh, because they're back in here now. Are you ready to go? Yep. I think something wonderful is going to happen. No, from here on out, there's going to be many hardships. Oh. Hmm. You're nitpicking. That's what I expected. Have you ever been outside the castle? Crazy girl. Are you totally ignorant of the world? Will's my friend, understand? Hey, Will, aren't you my friend, too? Of course I am. I'm glad, Will. Let's go hand in hand. She gets better, don't worry. But... I mean, like... You're all kids. Kids and or teens, I don't know the exact... age. But, yeah. She's never been outside the castle. Presumably Lily hasn't really been outside her village. So, like, and you're the, like, freaking chosen one. So, like, they're both like, wow. He's got protagonist hair blowing in the wind. It's like, they're, it makes sense. It's just kids. This is my village, but you're probably surprised there's no houses. Try playing the melody. Well... Where are you going? Play the melody here. Wanted to turn around to do it. Yeah, I forget. I should try playing it sometime when I'm not supposed to. It might just do the like, boo to do. In fact, you can't do anything with that here. I don't know, maybe it does the whole thing. Melody. The melody carried on the wind spread over the meadow. Eh, there goes your protagonist hair again. Were you surprised? Yes. I've never seen a magic house before. There's a barrier. Most people can't see it. The princess is getting to be a bother. On the road, all I heard was my feet hurt. I'm thirsty. I'm tired of hearing it. I can't help it. My feet hurt. Ugh. Okay, well, come with me. I'll show you my house. Bye. Red Jewel! <laughs> that is kind of funny. Like, the entire way the princess was complaining. I'm thirsty. My feet hurt. But my feet do hurt. Oh, uh, then, then maybe you should sit down. Sorry about that. Hello. The Incans who lived here were a tribe without a written language. Their legends are left in song. Even in seemingly meaningless melodies, there is a message like, please unveil your house, I'm here. Yeah, that's it. That was the exact message they were trying to leave. There are no other children Lily's age in the village. Please become friends. I mean, okay, that... So it's not even just that she hasn't left the village and you're, like, someone new. It's, like, you're literally the only other person her age she's ever seen. Will, Will. All right, she's the opera singer. Over here. Oh, you're safe. Good, good. A terrible thing happened to us. A man called the Jackal came to the house with some soldiers. He almost got us. Grandpa panicked. I destroyed their digestion with a poisoned marsupial pie. Then I ran away. Lily, thank you. I didn't know that the Princess Kara came too. And she's like, how does everyone know I'm the princess? It's not hard. We didn't ask her to come along. Well, this is my house. You can look around the village, but then come back here. Lily, wait, I'll go too. I was promised sitting down. I'm still standing up. It's like they're both 
being terrible, but at the same time, it's both under it's understandable for both of them. Many people come here to gather ink and gold, but many who set foot in the Incan ruins have never returned. The ruins are an ancient tomb. Why can't you leave them alone? Lady, what's your d I didn't come here to pillage the tomb. I mean, that's exactly what I'm about to do, but I didn't come here to do it. I'm just here because my parent, my grandparents got kidnapped. It's said a messenger appeared here when the ancient world was about to be destroyed. Then all around the world, disease and famine increased. The planet had always been peaceful. Try running down that hill. Keep running, you'll be surprised. <gasps> Were you surprised? I know I was. I mean, I wasn't, because I knew what was going to happen. You've come, Will. What? Oh, hi. I can't. Excuse me. I mean, here I am coughing and choking. I mean, I guess that kind of works. I can't live without the protection of the flower spirit. You really look like your father. It seems like only yesterday that he came to this village. My, my father? Your mother, Shira, was the only daughter of your grandparents, Bill and Lola. She was very beautiful. Your father fell in love with her and took her from the village. All of the Atori tribe have a strange power, but Shira's was especially strong. She made a barrier to hide the town, but your father came through it easily. Come to think of it, he was unusual too. Were you summoned by your father? Sort of. That fulfills Lola's prophecy. Do you plan to go? Yeah, because I don't know what else I'm doing. Good, I will entrust you with the Incan statue handed down to the village. I mean, okay, it's like, you're gonna just entrust this random kid with the statue to the Incan Riddle, untouched by human hands for hundreds of years, and like, well, your mom was from our village and was so magically powerful that she's the one that created the barrier around this place. Your dad had so much going for him that he just walked in and was like, hi, village, and they're like, but what about the barrier? And he's like, meh, 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 meh. One statue is in the cave below. Use your skill to find it. In a minute. I mean, we're gonna have to do that, so let's go talk to Lily's house stuff first. This is a great village. The breeze is refreshing. What? Inca statue? Uh, it said it's in a cave on the outskirts of town. Seems like there's a wall that sounds different when it's struck. How is the Elder? When you fought the demon at Edward Castle, you find a shiny silver stone. Yeah, you're supposed to tell me about it. There's strange power in that stone, even if defeated by an enemy. If you have 100 of them, you will live again. Okay. There's an old legend in this village. A child with good heart who controls the dark power will set out to save the world. At that time, a huge comet will enter Earth's orbit and a dark power will arise. These are the words of the Itori legend. Um... I have a couple questions. A... If this ch child has the dark power, but a dark power is rising, like... Is this the same dark... Oh, I forgot... Will's power, the Psycho Dash, it can destroy obstacles. Be alert, if you find a suspicious place, try to destroy it. Just anywhere. Like, what, for my journey? And Gaia's like, yeah, that too. These boxes look suspicious. Destroy them! Nothing was in them. Well, I was suspicious of them. Psycho Dash. Only young Will can use the Psycho Dash. Smash walls and obstacles by hurling yourself against them. Because Freedan's like, no. I'm not gonna do that thing. Just, you know, run right into a wall. No. You can do that. You're small. You're... You're, you know, your bones are... 
are easier to mend. Okay. Alright, so hold the attack button. Alright, now we're glowing. Dash? No. Let go of the attack button. Ah. Okay, I got it, I got it. I- Yeah! You found a water break! Also a big statue or something. Zoop. Yeah. Okay, we have an Incan statue, but now what? Like, you found it! But yeah, but I never actually heard what I was supposed to be doing with it. Moon tribe? Uh, I know, not a tribe. More like a strange shadow form. A high mountain peak near here has become their home. Shall we go? No. If you make him mad, you'll lose your life. You'd better stop it. Presumably, you're supposed to talk to the Elder. That's why I was like, wait, what? What moon tribe are you talking about? Oh, that's the Ingen statue. Good job. I wonder if you were put on this earth to solve the Ingen riddle. Put the statue on the Lurai cliff below the ruins where the spear's breath can't reach. The winds in the valley will lead you to the gold ship. Do you understand? Sure. It says that the moon tribe has one more. Have Lily guide you. Okay, there. The Moon Tribe will. You never talk to the person that tells you about that. Go back and do that first. There. Moon Tribe. We've learned it. Wait. Uh. Okay, I'll lead. I'm going to! I want to see the Moon Tribe. Since I escaped the confinement of the castle, I want to see and hear everything. No, it's too dangerous for princesses. If you don't want to bother, Will, just wait here quietly. They seem to be the only one left out. So, I'm going to go talk to Grandma Lola. <laughs> She's sulking. It's good medicine for a selfish girl. Maybe you should look in the mirror. What? No, nothing. Mountain pass will be difficult, but let's do the best we can. So Will and Lily go to the peak where the Moon Tribe lives. Home of the Moon Tribe. Okay. Uh, we've arrived. This is the Moon Tribe's home. So I've heard. The thing on the screen told me so. Good evening, out for a stroll. Who is it? A pup. This body is lighter than air. What are you? Guess who? Cotton Candy's relative. The Birdman. Old man's go- What? You're a ghost. Okay. I mean, you were just talking to like an ethereal elder. Like you're a half bird, half person. Okay. that. What? Will, what? You're a relative of Cotton Candy. Wrong. We're the Moon Tribe, also known as Shadows. Yeah. I called it in Soul Blazer. I was like, I think they use this exact face in Illusion of Gaia. I'll have to compare. If you're watching this on Twitch, sorry. If you watch this on YouTube, though, I can put in a clip of me finding the faces like this right now to see how close they are. Bam! Hey! I'm gonna have to, like, clip this for later. Those faces, that ghost face, looks an awful lot like one of the things in Illusion of Gaia. Presumably I'm bam at this point, I don't know. Like, you kind of remember this face. They're kind of creepy. The comet is a vehicle of destruction whose evil light has changed all creatures. It's a remnant of a weapon from a terrible battle long ago. 
what, the world will be unbearable? I didn't say that at all, but yes, you're, you are bright, but you are still immature. By filling in things I didn't actually say, I just said it was a tool of destruction. The world will be unbearable. You're gonna be like slightly too warm and humid and you're just like, Ugh, I can't bear this. One of my party has been kidnapped. Do you know your destination? No. Maybe someone's chasing you. <laughs> what? Sure. Okay. It comes once every 800 years. This is the fourth time. The more light that reaches you, the stronger the dark power. What will be born of the light this time? We've transcended time and have lived long. We saw the destruction of the Incan Empire. The Incan statue sleeps in the cave below. If you like, we'll give it to you. At any rate, go look in the cave. <laughs> Come on, stop. Wherever there is light, there are shadows. We who were changed by being bathed in the light only once. We'll spend our future in a world without light. Yeah, so they, I guess, transcended their form because they were bathed in the light of this comet that's coming. Cool, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna wait here. I don't have magic powers like you do. I mean, you can transform. Yeah, but I don't have attack with... This is the final shape of those touched by the comet's light. They are horrible creatures whose hearts are filled with hatred and destruction. If you can destroy them within 20 seconds, I'll give you the statue. <laughs> Ow. Here we go. There we go. Get them together. They turn into, like, electro caterpillars. What? They said something. I didn't hear what. Probably like, you're not good enough. Try again. How am I... Like, he just runs off. Ugh. I can't give you the statue. <laughs> but... I want it. It's right there. It doesn't look that high. Like, it's waist high. You could just... Grab on, pull yourself up. I, I, I don't suppose I could turn into Freedan for this, can I? Just be like, stab dead, stab dead. Like, no, we're testing you. But, yeah, but Friedan and me, like, we're kind of the same thing. Like, yes, it's its own thing, but I'm also... No. 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 Ooh. <laughs> Good boy. You may have the statue. <laughs> Why do you keep doing weird, creepy laughs? Because we're ghosts. You found another water break. I just wanted to do it because it was the second Incan statue. I'm like, oh, I did it for the first one. Let's keep this thing going. Oh, the statue. You are great. There are two statues. Do you want to go to the ruins? Sure. Yeah, my father summoned me. To be fair, he said, come save me, and he said, go to the ruins, and then he was just like, Incan, ruins, and then disappear. Like, maybe he was saying, whatever you do, though, don't go to the Incan ruins. Uh, I don't want to fight demons, but if my father's alive, I'll risk anything to see him. You don't understand until you lose your parents. T Typical. I understand. Let's go to the ruins. Clearly, you're kind of being rude. Go to the ruins. Find the answers there. Hello. Here's the entrance to the ruins. They say this is where the puzzle of the Incan legend is hidden. I heard this story from the Elder when I was a child. After being invaded, the Incans decided to leave their native land to find a new world. They secretly built a huge ship and filled it with priceless gold. But there's no record of the ship leaving. 
It's probably the ink and gold ship in the story. I don't think the Elder has told that story to any outsider. I wonder what he wants you to do. Yeah, he didn't tell me. Were you supposed to tell me? And she's like, ah, uh, whoops. Pretend you didn't hear any of that. I want to crawl in this hole. You're so mean leaving me behind. How could you do that? Why are you in a place like this? It's dangerous. Lola told me about this place. I've been waiting. I thought you'd left me. You should tell me where you're going. What's Will looking for in the ruins? I can't just wait around and eat while Will is working so hard. I'm waiting here for Will to return. A princess wouldn't understand. I will wait for you here, okay? Put the statue on the Lorai cliff below the ruins where the spirit's breath can't reach. Then the valley of wind will go blah, 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 blah. I can't just sit around eating and, like, waiting for Will to do stuff. I want to help, too. So now I'm here. By the way, I'm going to just sit here and wait. And then Lily's like, ugh, typical princess. I'll sit here and wait, too. You girls need to learn how to play nice with each other. The melody carried on the wind spread over the meadow. Eh, there goes your protagonist hair again. 